So for the viewer, that, so you can understand this, Xander has the tendency to open the door early with his body to get the hands behind him. The elbow gets away from him, hands get behind, and then he's forced to have to come slightly over to recorrect it, which he does a good job of. <laughs> um, now, the thing is, we're not trying to make, you know, do something loosey-goosey and manipulative here. No, we're trying to still control this with the body, but we're just doing something different to help him feel. That was beautiful. All right, so here's the big thing. Slowing down the turn. Just feeling, but tighten the core. Like, are you, are you tight enough to where you feel like you're gonna be balanced? There you go, like, see what I'm saying? Yeah. And using the core right there. Still feeling like your body's turning, but it's turning minimally. Does that make, does it make sense? Okay. It's, it's, I think this is a big problem. When I, when I look at the videos you guys send me, I, I look at um, that takeaway and I look at the hands and I'm like, well, the hands are only like a 10% of why the golf club always looks low and underneath. It's not like you do any, you don't roll them. You know, they're not, they're not doing anything wrong. It's just, they're not, maybe a little more leverage would be acceptable. But the big thing that I look at is just how much the body and the torso turns right away. And it looks like this, right? It just sometimes goes fast and opens up and it just leaves a lot of space here, opens the door for the takeaway to get underneath, right? Then what happens? This has been stuck for so long already back here this is back here, now where do we go? Get that little tug this way, and that's where that left path was coming from when you went and saw Mike while I was gone, right? So the big thing that I want you to accomplish is understanding that when I, when I pushed you there and I wanted you to feel like you grabbed on with your, you know, with your core, and the arms are still soft, but you're, sol you're solid here. Look how minimally I'm turning, you guys. That's my takeaway right there, okay? It's not, and I think that's important to understand because three-fourths of my turn is happening from here, right? That's what's moving everything to the top. And I think that's where you feel stuck sometimes. That's where you feel like your arms and body aren't working together. But that's the, that's the root cause of it, okay? So my okay. whole thing with you is, you know, I, I watched, um, I believe it was Faldo did this, you guys. He had, he had the ball underneath the heel and would kind of, you know, would work on his takeaway. And you can see how that would keep that knee flex. My, my mentor had me ball the foot up and then it would be where? Right. Then back, right? I want you to own that because there's a reason why when we stand in front of a mirror, this goes for everybody really, you can see yourself repetitively do the right takeaway every time, right? But we're just going like this because we're not actually turning to the top. We're just kind of minimally moving everything and it's easy to get in position. But my goal for you today is to feel like you're minimally moving everything without just putting your arms in club there and feeling no nothing. You're, you're feeling it from here. It's very connected and it's that very minimal pivot that the muscles have around your spine. I'm just kind of kind of painting a picture for you here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Where it just moves the club right there into position. Let's, let's nail that. Let's, hey, let's put the takeaway in a perfect spot right now, Xander. That was your best one of the day by far. And that was your best takeaway of the day by far. I'm going to film it in like three swings from now. See if you can work at, work at it. Be very subtle with it. Don't okay. feel like a lot of speed in your takeaway. Just feel like this. Your core grabs on and it just keeps that club right out in front of you. Very minimal movement from everything. You can feel the tension that's necessary in your legs and in your core when you do it right. Feel that? Yeah. Do that and then turn. Definitely improved his takeaway though, didn't it? Straightened it out. Watch this. Do another one, buddy. Give me just a little bit, a little bit now of the, just a little bit of pressure in the hands down to okay. kind of set that club as you do that with your body. See where they are? Yeah. And then like watch. Watch Brian. Okay. This is are even up more. Yeah, and you can I mean you can see that the, the boys are really getting, you know, you, you know, even Mason even Mason with a driver there, you know. 
So they just watch Travis. Like, see how they're all up in front of their chest? They, they don't get that look of where the hands, you know, get back, get back behind that right bicep, right? And, and that's where the club is in the right spot, but then that hands just kind of get back behind us and that's where you're then forced to then get that move going, you know, to reroute it on plane. I, I just feel like for you, hit a couple shots where you're not even trying to be too technical, where you're just trying to go up the elevator and then, you know, under, you know right underneath. Because the hard part about it is, from, up, from being upright, if you don't put the draw mindset in your swing, it's gonna feel like you're gonna wipe the heck out of it, right? Yeah. Because you're up here. Remember, this is just a feel drill. Okay, so you're starting to go up this elevator with the elbows pinched together and then down underneath and imagine like you're hitting a little draw from there. So up, kind of like that look, right? I felt like I went real vertical and then dropped it under. We're just re redirecting the golf swing. So we're trying to get the hands and club up on this side of the line and work it underneath. Let's see it. It's exaggerated for me, okay? It's gonna feel like Furic. So for the viewer, that, so you can understand this, Xander has the tendency to open the door early with his body to get the hands behind him. The elbow gets away from him, hands get behind, and then he's forced to have to come slightly over to recorrect it, which he does a good job of. Um, now, the thing is, we're not trying to make, you know, do something loosey-goosey and manipulative here. No, we're trying to still control this with the body, but we're just doing something different to help him feel. That was beautiful. And if you look at that, it looks up the same plane but he's feeling right now like he's going up this side and under this side. And that's just defeating the tendency, which was the opposite. So just to have an athletic way to do it. I still would go like this, bud, come back behind me. Like, cause that was really good. Like if I film that swing, you would clearly see it was better, like way better. But I want you to go more, okay, pop behind me at uh, their angle though, so you, can, you guys can see this. I want it to be like literal. Right? So like I'm talking like just guarantee it gets up there. You gotta peek and then work it under. Cause I just want you to feel the opposite of what you do. Remember the tendency would be, and even a little bit what? If anything, this way sometimes. So I don't care if we feel like it's just straight up in the air. That's what I want. And then, okay. Just for the drill, I don't care how you hit it. Pinch those elbows together and do that straight up. Dude, come back here and check us out and watch how much better this looks to you guys. Look at this. Ryan, we've, we haven't seen him there in six Who's months, right? That? Who's this guy? Wait, oh, look at it. See what I'm saying? That's a lot better, dude. That's you thinking though, right? And look how you don't get look how you don't get the tugging of the shaft that goes this way. You see how this goes straight down, right into the slot, and then boom, center contact. I mean, this is like a really good golf swing. Watch. Okay. I don't know. Drastic, right? I know. It's probably looking at it like, wait. What that felt like, I literally felt, I felt like I was up here. Yeah. And that club is literally in a perfect spot. But dude, you need to get that down. That's something we've obviously tried to work on, but today the camera's on, we have no choice. <laughs> hey Brian, come check us out. Hey bud, can you go extreme? Just like, I mean, just go extreme with the, with the um, elbows pinched together. Is that though. not extreme? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, there's no X in there at all. Nope. It's extreme. extreme, yeah. Let's go nuts with this, buddy. Elbows together. Close buddy. As close as possible. Yeah. Because I think I want one of those Roombas mm. for Christmas. <laughs> Everything on our feet is about Roombas. <laughs> <laughs> Ours is hysterical. If you 
Ooh, that was better. A few more and we're gonna film it again, okay? Elbows pinched, 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 hands straight up. And then your body working the hands underneath you, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Like this, bud, look at this. By the way, the body working the hands underneath comes from this move. I'm up here, the left side of my torso goes down as my left hip goes back, ready? So it's more, boom. This is so much fun. How does it feel, buddy? Awkward. Awkward, right? Yeah. We're just, you know, and the reason why, um, pretty much just the downswing. Yeah. It, the downswing will feel awkward. You know, yeah. but here's the, here's the big thing. And I want you to understand this completely. What, what allows for the downswing to not feel awkward is the body's ability to turn the hands up that plane. You, you hear me talk about this a lot, right? It's gonna feel, for some would interpret this drill, and when I mentioned to Gabe earlier, this is not a manipulative motion. Our body is still turning it up there. We're just changing the direction of our hand path. What I mean by that is, rather than turning it this way, we're turning it this way, okay? That, that's still happening from here, from the left side of my body, left shoulder, left arm, you know, left side of my, just pushing it up there. This elbow just stays this way, which keeps my hands from getting further this way, because this elbow breaks down, can drift in behind you, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So the whole point is, when you're doing this, here's the thought, if your sternum can stay facing your hands to this point, that gives you a better chance now to feel everything work together through the golf ball, right? I don't, you know, you know me, I, I, I'd like to maybe get us on a ball below our feet lie so you don't have to feel like you have to get down into it. Uh, I'm not big on like trying to feel anything like that. I think everything will happen naturally as a result of a good backswing. But we do need to understand how to work the transition because why? Guys, for, for a while, and I, we've seen what in the video? Here to here, here to here, here to here. And now what we saw in that video that I showed you was that was the most straight up, straight down I've seen you in, in months, buddy, you know? So my whole thing is, okay, left side still turns the body up, chest and hands stay facing each other, elbow in. Those are all feels to kind of help. And then just working it under and going, right? Yeah. Like I said, I just, you know, I'm really, I don't care how you hit it, just get a good feel of it all like flowing together. Top swing go, come down, mm -hmm. not over. Right, just right underneath him. It's a better swing, Xander. Just come more and I'll film it. I think that was important to understand though, guys. It's like, it wasn't solely anymore just the, um, the club. It's the hand path, yeah. right? It's his path, that, that hand path needs to just be more in front of the center of his body. So what we're gonna film in a minute here is seeing the hands hopefully right in front of the center of his chest. Halfway back. But how easy, easy is it would it be as a viewer or even the student to interpret this as this if I didn't explain it better, just to just, to just get in there and say, oh, you know, to be on this side, I got it. Yeah. Well, now it's so disconnected. Like, it's so awkward to try to get the club back on plane, right? Yeah. You want to feel like your body's grabbing it the whole time. Me and Xander, it's so much better, buddy. Up and down the same plane. Do you feel like you're going up? Yeah. Down a different plane? Trying. So it's nice, you know, you hop on the flight scope and mic, you see some data, right? Which is great, which is absolutely great. But knowing, hey, this, yeah. it's gonna lead to this. This is, you know, Xander, this is good. And you know what you're doing? You're doing the viewers a favor today, by the way, by having this be the, what we need to address. Think about this, you guys. How common is this as a golf, as a golf coach? I mean, think, I, I see this all the time. Our body's turning in which direction? This way. And then where's it going? Back in this direction. That way. You do it to a small degree because you're a very, very good golfer. 
most of the public, I mean, it's just in the direction of the turn and over, right? Yeah. <laughs> to his dad raising his Yeah. Mike's got you dialed in, though, dude. <laughs> but. That one lesson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, if I'm you, I'm putting the water bottle like right here every single time, and I'm just hitting balls like this. You know what I mean? And just staying right underneath it. Keeping a head. Yeah, exa exa exactly. Not moving. Hey, but I am proud of you because your swing when you showed up was a lot better than when, you, when I saw you a couple weeks ago. Okay. okay. I always am curious, you know, like I know, and I know I have a lot of faith in my golfers, but when I'm gone on the road for two weeks straight and I come back, I'm always curious to see what the swing looks like. Is it like, are you doing better or is it where it was or was it a little bit worse? Yeah. I, it's a good sign when all of a sudden, you know, I told him I was gone for a couple weeks. I haven't seen the guy in a, in a minute. And I was really proud to see when I came back today, the swing was clearly better than what it was. I, I just think that if we can, if, if our new thing, our new, our new thing I want you guys to look at before you hit this one, Get, get back, get, like all the videos we take right now. The, the number one goal is seeing the hands in front of the center of the chest with the club up on top of that forearm. If we have that, like I'm, I'm, I'm good. Dude, nice job. Here we go, film it. I'm gonna film this one and see what we got. Same thing with the L pinch together, and then work it more underneath, okay? Okay. There we go. There we go. Good. Okay, like, like, like watch this. This is the, I just wanna show you one thing. This is the last one you just made. Ready? Watch this transition. Ready, guys? Watch this transition. This is the one before. You see that? Yeah. Look at the difference in the club. You see that difference? So my whole point is when those hands go out in transition, that club goes and opens and, and, opens and lays off and swipes. And then you're going to get like toe balls and you get like toe kind of glances and out to the right. So the whole thing is like, you've really got to be patient up there, bud. And like a lot of, a lot of swings where you're just going like this right now. Up that wall, work it underneath. Up that wall, work it underneath, you know? And you're gonna start okay. seeing, it's gonna, it's gonna just blend into your transition of your swing a little bit, and it's gonna be golden. That's a big part of it, and I think, I think that's also too a, a product of like a lot of good players. Like you see Starkey do that. Just keeping the club outside the hands too. It's like a little initiation move, you know? Yeah. I even remember used to watching Adam Scott sometimes. He would go like this, right? The, I remember watching when he was younger, the club ball would be there and the club would just slide out a little bit and, and then move up, you know? It's just because, remember that drill, guys, about just being here <laughs> and turning? Yep. Essentially, that would fix everything, right? I mean, because with the backswing, we know we just don't get there all the time. It's kind of over here, right? So it's kind of a nice way to feel it. You just here, and then it's... Because the, the shaft will stand up, hands in the right spot, and then it works right back underneath. But, you know, our goal for a couple swings here... And this is, just, this is just me exaggerating it because I'm doing the opposite of what you were doing. And I just know if you just do like a, if you're smart about this and rock 20 minutes of just something crazy different like this, where you're like, okay, the ball's right there. I'm gonna work outside that ball and underneath it. But watch how, watch how this ex it really exa exaggerates it, Xander. You see that, how I really, I mean, you can actually visibly see my hands doing a change right there, right? You know, I, have, like I said, I have no care about the shot, literally zero. I'm 100% trying to feel myself turn it up there and actually work it in this direction as opposed to, that's all it is. Just having, and then, you know, through the drill, you build a good rehearsal, right? And that rehearsal just becomes kind of what you do. And then all of a sudden, we don't have to think about it ever again. See, th th those are good though. Those come down the right plane and for the viewer who can't see that ball flight, those balls are starting online, if not even a yard right, and then just turning one yard back to the target. Because when this guy plays his best, he doesn't hit a cutty shot. People who have that tendency to, to be already a little steep, it's dangerous to tell them to play a cut because they typically get more steep. So, you know, we want him to be in a position where the club's coming down a more neutral plane. For him, that's always a straight shot to a little one-yard draw. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. 
Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.